Ramana Maharshi's profound wisdom shines in talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. This Ramana clip is from a longer video from Richard Clark as he comments on the talk. I'm Richard. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book, Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is talk number 170. Questioner. Can a yogi know his past lives? Maharshi. Do you know the present life so well that you wish to know the past? Find out the present life, then the rest will follow. Even with our present limited knowledge, we suffer so much. Why do you wish to burden yourself with more knowledge and suffer more? Questioner, can fasting help realization? Maharshi, but it is temporary. Mental fast is the real aid. Fasting is not an end in itself. There must be spiritual development side by side. Absolute fasting makes the mind weak, too. You cannot derive sufficient strength for the spiritual quest. Therefore, take moderate food and go on practicing. Questioner. They say that after breaking a month's fast, ten days afterwards, the mind becomes pure and steady and remains so forever. Maharshi. Yes, if the spiritual quest has been kept up right through the fast also. In this dialogue, the questioner poses two questions. One regarding a yogi's ability to know past lives, and the other on whether fasting can aid realization. To the first question, Ramana Maharshi responds with a characteristic depth and simplicity. He redirects the focus from the desire to know past lives to the knowledge of the present one. He tells the questioner to focus instead on the present life, what is here and now. This focus on the present life serves as a profound reminder of the importance of self-awareness. Maharshi implies that even in our current existence with its known challenges, we often struggle to comprehend fully. By urging you to focus on the present moment, Maharshi By urging you to focus on the present moment, Ramana suggests that true wisdom begins with an awareness of the here and now. The now is known experientially. The past and future are just mental images. One is real, the other a mental dream. Regarding the second question about fasting, Maharshi emphasizes the transient nature of physical fasting. The mind's fasting from unnecessary distractions and attachments is the true aid to spiritual realization. Maharshi cautions against physical fasting, highlighting its potential to weaken the mind and hinder spiritual progress. Instead, Ramana advocates a balanced approach. Moderate food intake coupled 
with continuous spiritual practice. Really, since you are not the body, external practices for the body do not bring self-realization except for the self-knowledge component. Realization comes from self-knowledge. The knowledge essence is what takes you deeper. The exchange continues when the questioner mentions the belief that breaking a month's fast can lead to a period of purified and steady mind. Maharshi agrees, but with a major condition. The consistency of spiritual quest throughout the fasting period. It is the internal practice that matters, not what you do with the body. Ramana underscores the importance of maintaining a spiritual focus even during physical practices like fasting. Purification of the mind is an internal practice that benefits from continuing practice. This dialogue encapsulates Ramana Maharshi's teachings on the primacy of self-awareness in the present moment, the limited value of external practices unless there is concurrent internal spiritual development, and the need for consistency in the spiritual quest for lasting transformation. So inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. These videos help bring Ramana Maharshi's teachings into your direct experience. Subscribe now 